Hello, my name is Jason Jones, and I'd like to share with you some experience I've had using what I found to be an essential element uh, to my surgical practice, well. the Mastel and Illuminating Care Discope. I have no financial in interest in this product. Here is a situation which is encountered uh, rather commonly. This patient has an asymmetric limbal architecture. By asking the patient to fixate on the blinking central fixation beacon and inscribe in placing a corneal marker uh, diameter of 5.75 millimeters, I'm able to obtain a very well-centered capsulotomy and a well-centered intraocular lens. Here's another application which is fairly common. Uh, once again, the patient is asked to fixate on the blinking beacon. Uh, the marker is applied and the utratas are used routinely to assess for corneal magnification using the inscribed one millimeter marks which go out to six millimeters uh, along the backbone of the jaws of the forceps. This allows a very consistent sizing uh, as well as shape of the capsulotomy and the patient is able to maintain good fixation through this maneuver. In this case, once the lens is in place and the viscoelastic is removed, it's noticed here as the anterior chamber is uh, inflated, this lens does not really want to center uh, that well. By rotating the lens into a more central configuration, we obtain excellent centration and this is confirmed with the keratoscope. Here in this highly myopic patient, we once again apply our corneal marker while the patient is fixating, judge the size of our capsulotomy, and create our capsular opening following the diagram of the uh, corneal marker. Once the lens is in place and with an inflated anterior chamber, See that uh, you can notice that this lens sits more nasally yeah, right and the keratoscope confirms that it is well centered on the visual axis. This patient has had a previous conductive keratoplasty and once again the patient fixates, the corneal mark is applied, and the capsulotomy is created. Because of the discrete fixation elements uh, from the beacon, patients are more readily able to maintain the fixation during the capsulotomy manu maneuvers, uh, which aids in a more controlled and centered location. Here you can see the concordance of the keratoscopic readings as well as the CK scars and anterior capsulotomy. Here is a fairly typical use of the keratoscope. You note here that the reflex is oval in nature and by bisecting it using a cannula uh, you can more readily see the astigmatism. Qualitatively this uh, aids in um, location of the astigmatic correction and most importantly, at the conclusion of surgery, one can verify that you have a correct orientation of the lens by comparing the astigmatic correction of the lens versus the corneal uh, reflection. This patient here has approximately two diopters of astigmatism and desires presbyopic correction and therefore paired 55 degree arcs are utilized to uh, relax this pre-existing corneal astigmatism. It's helpful to note here the round configuration of the corneal reflex of the keratoscope indicating good correction of the astigmatism. At the conclusion of the case uh, you can use the keratoscopic rings and the concentric nature of the diffractive grating to create a, a, a pre very precise alignment of the lens to the visual axis. Try, try to
in this case seven months post-op from restore implantation uh, distance uncorrected vision was good at 2020 and near vision was 2030 uncorrected as well however it was apparent that this lens was not well centered uh, as it was decentered relative to the undilated pupil during visco dissection it was apparent that this lens haptic had become stuck to the end of the eyelet of the capsular tension ring which had been placed in this mildly myopic patient and with careful visco dissection and blunt dissection with traction the lens was freed then rotated 360 degrees with its final position confirmed using the fixation light and concentric alignment of the keratoscopic view this patient had an excellent outcome and stable recovery in this last challenging case a, an engineer has undergone restore implantation as well as YAG capsulotomy several months postoperatively. Unfortunately, his lens is decentered and he has significant complaints of glare. With judicious and gentle visco dissection, the lens is freed from its current configuration and rotated. Then the placement of the lens is confirmed to be centered using the fixation beacon and the concentric pattern of the keratoscopic reflections as compared to the diffractive rings of the restore implant. There. You're right on target. With this illuminated surgical keratoscope, I no longer have to estimate where the visual axis is. I now know. And I also have a guide for treatment of astigmatism intraoperatively. I find this to be the quintessential and essential tool for the modern refractive cataract surgeon. Thank you.